ID survey offers a self-generated report with the analysis of all the questions and all the open-ended answers. On the left, you find the list of questions. Questions that should not appear in the report can be hidden by simply switching them off. Clicking on a question, you can display the page with the relevant graphs and tables. As you can see, each page can have multiple graphs divided into multiple widgets. Each widget can contain a graph, a table, a list or customized text. The text can also be customized with images, links or logos, as in this case. So, by default, the report includes a page for each question in the questionnaire. However, we can also create new custom pages where we add widgets with graphs and tables, even of different questions. You can save as many reports as you want, each with, with its own settings and customization. Reports are managed in views, similar to the context management views. This means that we can resume the work from where we left off, even if we had not previously saved the changes. We can create reports available for the entire team or save them in private mode. Every single view can be shared with external users simply by activating report sharing. External users, such as your client, will be able to access your report with a link that you can send via email so you don't have to create users and manage permissions to enter your ID survey platform. Now let's take a closer look to the widgets. If you want to add a graph, you need to click on Add Visualization. At the top left of each widget, we find the menus to set and customize every aspect of the graph or table. The first menu is Data Source where we can choose the data source to analyze. We can select the question and then set the data source. For example, if it is a grid, we can also select a single line, or if it's present in the question, we can decide to analyze the open answer instead of the option. The last entry of the data source allows us to deselect the answer options that we don't want to be considered in the analysis of the graphs or tables. Let's skip the second menu for now and go directly to the next one, the visualization menu. From this menu you can select the type of graph, the metric and set multiple options. For example, by choosing the bar graph we can set the metric to choose whether to display the response count, average, sum, percentage or other. Other options allow us to customize the graph, such as shortening response labels, rotating the graph, showing the legend, and transpose. The transpose allows you to choose whether to consider the answer options or the question as a series. This is indispensable function when analyzing metrics, because for example, it allows you to choose whether to analyze the option count for each line or in which line each option has been selected. Lastly, we find the Appearance menu. From this menu, we can customize the labels, the title of the graphs and the colors. You can choose from the many palettes available or manually change the color of each option. In analysis and report, there are six different types of charts, each with its option, plus a table of statistics, a table with group data, and a list. We have seen the bar graph. The line graph is also available. Then we have pie charts that by default are displayed as a donut, but we can customize it as we want. We have full stack bar, Gauge, perfect for representing the average of questions, rating, slider or N NPS. The summary table. The statistics. 
Then, for open-end, in addition to the res presentation seen so far, Word Cloud is also available. And lastly, the complete list of open-ended responses. We left out a menu item. The second menu we find in the widgets is called Breakout. Breakout allows you to break down the data for another question or for a contact field. For example, we can break down the question by age group. The chart will immediately adapt to the new data. But that's not all. ID Survey also allows you to break out the entire report, not just for a single widget. From the breakout icon at the top right, you can cross each graph and report table for any question or contact field. In a second, each graph, each report table will be broken down by the chosen question. In this case, let's see how each chart now shows data separated by age group. This is just a quick overview of analysis and report beta. Other features will be released during 2020.